Uh, next up, we have representing ARM, Andrew Sloss, and he's going to be, uh, he's a senior principal engineer at, uh, for HPC at ARM, and he's been with ARM 17 years, you said. Wow, oh, it's a long time. So uh, he's going to, he has a couple of slides also, and uh, let's welcome Andrew. I haven't used a Mac in a while, so it's full screen. Yeah. You can send the view. Thank you. Okay, great. So uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Applied Micro for inviting us here as well, and for Sandia Labs for their talk, and HP, and all of this. Um, this is really an exciting time for ARM and, uh, and for me personally. So, so when I first looked at HPC, I looked at it around 2004. And I, I looked at what would be sort of the implications of what ARM would need to happen for ARM to be in the HPC space. So, we, so I looked at it and go, well, actually, uh, ARM's not going to be sort of very relevant until we have a certain set of technologies available and uh, power efficiency becomes a very important issue. And so, you know, we're, we're now in uh, 2014, you know, power efficiency is a very important issue. Uh, we have sort of the right technologies coming out. So you're starting to see us appear in, in this space. And our business model is a very different one. It's sort of a collaborative business model, sort of driving innovation, all of these pieces. So I, I've really just got a sort of very short 10 minute sort of discussion, but um, basically we have uh, really one objective, and that is to enable HPC machines. So um, we are sort of, uh, we've got research people working in this area. We're looking at technologies that will help the HPC industry. And so, um, you know, we have a very simple goal, right? We're, you know, pieces that we have missing, we need to get into place, and that's ecosystems, all of these pieces. But, you know, with Applied Micro and uh, companies like that producing, you know, solutions that can go into this space is sort of driving everything forward. So uh, from a perspective side, you know, as I said, we, uh, you know, uh, uh, myself and Arm has been looking at this since 2004. You know, some of the things are sort of very familiar to us um, in some ways. You know, I, I look at the HPC industry and it's sort of similar to the embedded industry in some ways in the fact that you're, you've got unique problems and you have to have unique solutions to those problems. Um, but you have one thing different to embedded and that's just the sheer scale of what you're dealing with. Right, so, so that's one difference. Um, we were, I also sort of think that, uh, you know, one of the sort of three sort of major game changers for this industry is sort of bringing in a lot of choice. So not just, not just one solution, many solutions, um, because actually with choice, you, you have the ability to actually deal with your own problem domain. And things like Applied Micro's XGene product means that you can look at where XGene fits into your problem domain and sort of put it in there. Also, power efficiency and cost, you know, these are other game changes in, in the HPC industry that need to be driven. So, you know, we're, we're constantly looking for the right technology and maturing the ecosystem. So we're never complete. We'll always need more and more. We'll always have to deal with the next generation and things like that. So, but we're, you know, that's what we're looking for, uh, sort of the right technology to fit into different marketplaces and in particular the HPC market. So, what are we actively doing? Well, we introduced uh, ARM 64-bit uh, architecture, and we've got implementations coming out. So Applied Micro's uh, XGene is sort of there as a solution. Um, we are sort of trying to get all the open source community sort of on board for 64-bit, and we're sort of growing that, uh, that community. And it's sort of driven by hardware availability. But um, you know, it, it's, we've got, I believe, uh, one, uh, one vendor said that they've got 44 thousand packages already ported to 64-bit ARM and hundreds of applications. So it was sort of, sort of bringing that momentum up on the software side. Um, and then uh, we sort of 
uh, also believe in sort of a balanced approach, so not one size fits all. So no one solution fits all the complete market right across everything. We, you know, with, with all of our partners and all the uh, different uh, companies, you know, they can sort of play with memory systems, I.O. systems, interconnects, uh, processor performance levels, all of these pieces to build, you know, really quite innovative solutions which are cost effective and sort of uh, new and exciting. Right. Um, and, you know, we believe in sort of a healthy, competitive and innovative uh, marketplace. So, so it, we, you know, where, where basically our collaborative sort of approach to the sort of business models sort of drives everything forward at a very, very fast rate. So, uh, you know, you, you hear a lot about ARM64 a bit, but when it starts coming out, it will start moving at incredible rates once, once you start seeing silicon hardware out there. Um, we see also the HPC world, you know, it's not just ARM and what ARM does, the HPC world is in a sort of uh, change and transitional uh, state too. It's not just end sort of floating point performance, you're looking at a sort of lots of analytics and data and things like that. So we need to be quite, uh, you know, uh, familiar with those worlds because, you know, tre trends uh, are also important and, and technologies and segment areas don't remain the same. So we've got to be cognizant of that. And uh, we have a phrase in our which is little data, and that's sort of the Internet of Things going right up to the data centers and HPC world where you're dealing with big data and you're analyzing all of that side of it. And in the end, you know, ARM is very much wanting sort of a freedom to choose, right? A freedom to sort of choose different designs, innovative uh, ideas and innovative concepts, very much like uh, uh, Applied Micro's X-Gene product. So, so, you know, that's what we sort of are driving for and to sort of make the world interesting. Okay, so, you know, what is sort of one of the, the big advantages? Well, integration. So instead of having everything sort of uh, out on a circuit board, we're sort of integrating all those com components right onto the SOC. Um, we're allowing sort of increased density and you're sort of reducing your uh, total cost of ownership. So you're sort of building that cycle of building everything right into the chip and trying to reduce cost and all the rest. So having said that, um, you know, the, uh, the HPC uh, partner ecosystem is growing for ARM, um, and we're going to have a sort of panel discussion, and the, the panel will probably come up, and you can ask them questions, and that's what we'll do next. Okay? Thank you.